Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising for the fourth week of August. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a wonderful week for you guys. Um, the energy of this week is water. The zodiac energy from Monday to Wednesday is fire. And from Thursday to Sunday, it is the energy of the hurt. So this is good for you, Virgos. Happy birthday to the people who are having birthdays in this week. Please go to the birthday readings and listen to the energy vibration. So as we look at this week, we have a, a wonderful energy beginning the week. It has to do with work. Okay, so a lot of you um, have situation to do with um, the fire energy and stability. It could be also you're dealing with someone who is an Aries. On Tuesday, you have the five of one, some conflicts about work situation and money. On Wednesday, you have the Ace of Cups and Thursday, the Lovers. So expect to meet someone new. And for you women, you could be meeting someone who is a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. Okay, so in the weekend, some of you women could be meeting a man that is a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. The weekend is going to be of... Uh, emotion some of you need to listen more to your intuition in the weekend okay the eye princess is here it's as if um you guys are blessed now you have two aces which is good new beginning in love new beginning in your financial situation so as we look at the week we have the energy of the emperor now the energy of the hamper is that you're trying to build a stable so people who has their business um um, I expect a lot of transaction to happen in this week, but this transaction could be happening with conflict. Some of you could be about to start a job or um, um, working out your salary with um, a company or that sort of a thing. And, you know, there's going to be conflicts, but not to worry about this because you're going to see positive. It's going to be coming up positive. As we look um, in the middle of the week, we have some conflicts. Listen to your intuition about the conflicts and this new person that is coming into your life. Do not place your faith in people, especially people who you don't know. Um, <laughs> say less to whoever new is about to enter your life. Okay, some of you, it could be someone who is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. Um, this person is a very intuitive person, but be on your guard with this person. Ending of the week is going to be lovely. The weekend is going to be wonderful because there's new love that is coming in your life. Whoever this person is, he is the King of Cups. And this is a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion um, that is about to come in your life. Okay, And this is um, someone who is a, um, a, a twin flame or a soulmate that is about to come in your life now let's see what's happening for the beginning of the week you guys are seeing a situation so it's a situation with work where it's as if you have asked for a salary raise if it's not work it is a situation that there has been a conflict with money it could be um, you and your father that is in a conflict with money and you are seeing the situation for whatever it is it is as if this conflict is going to be over um, whatever that has been playing and whatever that has been transpiring with this conflict is going to be over soon okay now as we look forward um, we are looking we have the energy of the Prince of Wands now some of you could be connecting with the Prince of Wands it is not um, the best person um, you need to listen to your intuition about someone who's between the age of 25 and 45 that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you need to be careful with this person um, this person is going to be coming in your life as a new love this could be that some of you could be getting pregnant for someone who's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius between the ages of 25 and 45 be aware of this that pregnancy is in this week um, for you ladies and if you're with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius be careful because you could be finding that out that you are pregnant in this week okay let's see what's coming out for the lovers 
some of you are going to be seeing the truth of a situation with the king of cups whoever this king of cups is is as if you're going to be realizing that this person is your twin flame or your soulmate some of you have been in a relationship with someone who is um with someone who is uh, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and you're going to be realizing that this person is basically your soul mate okay and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be connecting with this person with an higher energy of vibration okay um, some of you for work stand your ground there's going to be some conflicts at work with a newcomer stand your ground but this person is going to turn out to be your twin flame or soulmate so be aware of that now the energy of the ace of Pentacles and the eye princess is saying to you listen to your own intuition over the intuition of others let's see what is coming out for the outcomes of the week for you Virgos because it's a beautiful week you have the page of one so there is going to be um, positive news coming out for you Virgos so um, whatever that was happening um, whether it's in work there's going to be some positive news coming at you for work um, the ace of Pentacles is here um, so whatever um, some of you were trying to um, you know um, balance out or come together with a salary situation and this is going to be good there is a positive message coming in about work for you now we have the energy of the Prince of Swords so be aware with this Prince of Swords okay um, there is uh, these people are between the ages of 25 and 45 some of them are coming in as new love um, but be aware of of whoever these people are because these two people are not aligned with positive energies they are really not aligned with positive energies so be aware of who they are and how they're coming in your life let's see what else is coming out um, yeah now we have someone here um, who is an a Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra stay far from this person some of you could be receiving message from a Aquarius Gemini or Libra stay far from this person stay extremely far from this person whether it's a man or a woman between the age of 25 and 45 stay far from this person this person is really humane. Um, this person is working on their negative energy so please stay away from these people okay there is going to be a message that is coming in and it's about money and there is going to be some conflicts and it's between you and um, someone a man who's have brown eyes and dark hair be careful um, I'm not really liking this energy especially when the energy of the snake is here that mean um, they're trying to as taught more out of you than is supposed to be some of you are going to be seeing um, seeing a situation for what it is yeah with um, someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius it's as if your angels is going to be coming in and shed light on this person now it is very 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 weird because it's as if someone who is um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion an older person is going to shed some light about the Prince of one whoever is he is and you need to keep on guard against this person I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and I'm wishing you a real wonderful week namaste until next time